Okay, well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to Imperial College and the Business School and the Grantham Institute as well. And uh, welcome to our first annual uh, corporate conference. And um, my name is James Barlow. I'm a professor of technology and innovation management uh, here in the Business School. And uh, I, I specialize in healthcare uh, rather than climate change. So uh, that may or may not be an advantage today. Um, I'm going to be chairing the conference this morning, and then my colleague Mirabel Mule over there uh, will be taking over this afternoon, and then, and then we'll come together at the end. We'll be frantically taking notes during the day, and we'll try and sum up the, uh, the, the key messages uh, uh, when we close this afternoon. Um, I've just got a couple of housekeeping announcements to make before we kick off. Um, and uh, in the event of a fire, uh, follow the fire exits, um, and uh, you need to make your way to the fire assembly point at the corner of Exhibition Road and Imperial College Road, which is, which is where is it? Over that way, I think. But anyway, f f follow directions. Um, and there's more useful information in your, uh, in, in your pack about <coughs> Wi-Fi and toilets and all the rest of it. Um, I also need to say that Vicky Bullivant uh, from Rolls-Royce, who was one of our speakers this morning, is unfortunately unable to attend, so we've extended the uh, panel discussion slightly to accommodate that. Um, now, uh, why is our first annual conference on climate change and, uh, and, uh, and mobilizing business? Um, I mean, I think when we started planning this conference, which was back in the, in the summer, uh, there, there were two things looming in, in the back of our minds. Uh, there was the uh, launch of the UN Sustainability Development Goals in September, and then the Paris uh, Climate Change Conference in, uh, in, in November. And um, given that the Business School and Imperial College and, and the Grantham Institute uh, try to work on the big global mega challenges, um, the, the topic for this first conference almost really selected itself. Uh, I think it was pretty well a no-brainer that we, we should do the first conference on uh, business and climate change. And uh, uh, I think it's fortuitous that we're holding the conference today because uh, I gather that tomorrow in New York, um, the, it's, it's Earth Day and uh, 150 nations plus USA and China are going to be signing the, uh, the, the Paris Agreement. So it's, it's good timing, uh, completely fortuitous. Um, and the Paris showed how important business is to, uh, f f for the climate change agenda. And, uh, and, and it, it's, it will inevitably frame the, the dialogue, frame the, uh, the, the agenda for the next decade. So I think uh, it, it's, it's very timely that our first uh, business school annual conference is on climate change and, uh, and mobilizing business. Um, we want to be part of the, uh, the, the task of creating the solutions to, uh, to, to address the climate change challenge. Um, we've got an excellent lineup of speakers. Uh, I gather there are about 100 delegates. Uh, um, won't all be here at the same time, perhaps, but uh, um, there are about 100 people registered for the conference. So thank you all very much for coming. Um, that's all I'm going to say for the moment. Um, you'll hear from me through the morning and then at the end of the day. And uh, now I'd just like to introduce our first speaker, Professor Alice Gast, uh, President of Imperial College, who's uh, going to uh, open proceedings for us. Alice. Thank you. You're marked. I am. I think so. Well, it's my pleasure to be here to welcome you this morning, and we're very proud to have this conference co-hosted by the Imperial College Business School and the Grantham Institute for Climate Change and Environment. Um, I, obviously, and, and as was stated, we really aim to bring business together at, with the science community uh, in order to define and take action on climate change. I extend a particular welcome to our invited speakers, and I also uh, welcome our friends from industry and government, as well as some alumni who have come back. So in some ways, the past year, uh, in the past year, climate change was at its most visible uh, to audiences across the globe. We might perhaps all say that we feel reasonably well informed of the consequences of climate change on our natural resources, health, ecosystems, and the places where we live. 
But we are yet to institutionalize the dialogue around climate change to the port point of coordinated mobilization and action. Collaboration between academics and business leaders is essential to addressing the challenge of climate change. We all have a role to play. Good research and smart business operations combined with good government policies are all important. Corporations and governments look to global institutions like Imperial to offer thought leadership and solutions. They also look to us to be conveners. And this conference is a good example of the power of convening people to initiate further collaboration and to lead to novel solutions. And I'm glad you're all here today because this is so important. As a world leader in science and technology, Imperial College London is uniquely positioned to tackle global challenges such as climate change. Today you will hear how the Imperial College Business School and the Grantham Institute for Climate Change and Environment collaborate on research to inform decision makers to influence corporate and government policies. To mention a few examples, researchers at the Grantham Institute and Imperial College Business School are looking at the effectiveness of the EU emissions trading system and how this policy impacts individual companies. They have found that the system can lead to reduced emission and improve innovation without impacting competitiveness. The Grantham Institute is part of a team investigating the impact of potential decarbonization pathways to achieve the two degrees centigrade target. This analysis informed the UK <coughs> government's diplomacy efforts leading up to the Paris conference last year. Grantham Institute research on low carbon technologies such as energy storage feeds directly into government departments to help set priorities for supporting emerging technology. Imperial is also leading by giving our students entrepreneurial experiences, helping them to benefit society. Our full-time MBA aims to educate a new generation of business leaders. Leaders like MBA alumna Lauren Dickerson who co-founded Lunagen, an innovative startup harnessing low-cost hydroelectric technology for developed and developing countries. Our education is collaborative. The business school recently launched the Master of Science in Climate Change Management and Finance. Developed in collaboration with the Grantham Institute, the program aims to give graduates the interdisciplinary skills required in business to work on issues relating to climate change and sustainability. Working with industry, the business school also initiated a portfolio of open enrollment executive education programs, drawing from expertise across Imperial. Through our research, we are developing new technologies and policy advances that help companies and governments to combat climate change. Through our education, we are educating leaders to drive the implementation of these advances. We do this in a collaborative way and as we believe this is how we will find solutions to the great challenges facing society. Last week, Christiana Figueres, UN Chief Climate Diplomat, delivered the 2016 Grantham Lecture at Imperial. She said that the Paris Agreement to tackle global warming could come into effect by 2018 two years earlier than originally planned. Perhaps mobilization and action at a government level will occur sooner than we thought. Discussions like those you will have today will take on renewed importance. I hope you will take away insights which will help you and your companies to innovate, lead change, and respond to a changing world. Thank you for coming today, and I hope you have a very successful conference.